Well, it's time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segments. I'm joined on set by Vedika Bahel. Vedika, you've been looking into viral videos of so-called electrical stones that have been found in DR Congo. Tell us more. Yes, Fraser, but before we take a look at the online reactions and the online claims, let's have a little look at the videos that have been circulating in question so that we can have a bit of a closer idea of what we mean by electrically charged stones. Now, this is just one of the two viral videos uh, that were circulating on the internet. And what we can see here is uh, we see someone take a stone between their hands, surround it with two pieces of wire connected to, to each other. And just like that, a light bulb in the middle of the two wires has lit up in connection when you connect one side of the wire uh, to, to, to the rock. Um, now that is astounding footage. Uh, we can also see the, 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 the rock close up uh, and it is got kind of got a silvery texture there. Now this is the second video uh, where sparks fly. Quite literally we can see a uh, much larger rock this time being placed against a sort of huge boulder and when touched against the rock there are huge sparks emitted uh, and what this is what internet users claimed was generating uh, electricity there. Now these were extremely viral on social media. That first video garnered uh, over 12 million views on the video alone and nearly 37 million on the tweet itself. Now this all may seem very reminiscent of the element of vibranium in the black Panther uh, movies from the Marvel Universe and social media users were um, actually reacting with posts along that same lines as well um, but also with the belief that uh, these stones could be used to sort of generate electricity and power things just as vibranium is used in the fictional African kingdom of Wakanda this Twitter user here says well, she cites that some experts are saying two stones can power a two bedroom for two months uh, with the electrical energy uh, produced for it. Now, it's important to note that the origins of these videos are extremely highly disputed, even on the Internet. Whilst many Internet users uh, went on to claim that the origin of the stones was actually in Monono, in the eastern uh, region um, of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Uh, this was also highly disputed as well. In the first video, however, we can actually hear them speak Swahili in the background, which is one of uh, the DRC's official languages. But uh, there is a little bit more mystery surrounding it. When I took a little deep dive into the, the oldest traces of this video on the internet, uh, this was what I could find. This is uploaded by a user um, from a Moroccan university, from the official page of a Moroccan university, going back as far as November 2022, titled only with the caption Lithium. Now, if that wasn't enough, many Twitter users were also claiming that the actual origin of the stones is in Zimbabwe along the Manyati River. So whilst there's a lot of, of differing claims there about the origin, we don't, we, it's very, very difficult for us to pinpoint the precise location of where this might have taken place uh, and how old these videos actually are. Well, certainly a lot of differing views there. Well, now that we've seen what the online claims are, is it possible, Vedika, that these energy generating rocks are in fact real? Well, our team at Truth or Fake reached out to five different geologists and all five of them came back to us saying that this is not possible. Uh, it's not possible to generate energy through a stone. One of them was Samuel Angibus, who's a geologist at the École Normale Supérieure. And he said to us that there's no material on Earth that can generate electricity by itself. Now, this is also backed up um, by the director of the geology lab there, Alexandre Chubnel, who said if a stone receives an electrical charge, then it will lose that charge, just like a battery slowly does as well. A stone cannot keep recharging itself. Now, batteries do have a positive and a negative terminal, uh, and that's what creates the chemical reaction needed to produce the electricity. But stones, of course, don't have that makeup, which is why they cannot generate electricity by themselves. Tavedika, from your deep dive into this, do we have any idea of what is actually happening with these stones? Well, that is the question. Whilst our experts dismissed uh, stories of the stones being able to generate their own electricity, uh, some stones can, in fact, conduct it. Uh, and that's what experts believe is happening here. It's possible that the stone in the video uh, is, in fact, pyrite. This is also called fool's gold. And it's a metal-rich mineral that can't produce electricity on its own, but it is a very good conductor. And it is capable of conducting energy uh, similar to that seen in the videos that we saw. Um, also, for some resemblance. 
Uh, pyrite uh, does look like this in its raw, uh, unfinished, unpolished form. So it, it is possible, whilst we don't know what the what the stone in those videos is, it is possible, uh, just theoretically, that they are similar like that. Um, geologists also pointed out to us that uh, the light in that second blasting video resembles the same light and explosions that seen uh, through welding on a construction site when two metals are fused together using uh, extremely high amounts of electricity and heat. Um, and the person in the video was wearing gloves, uh, kind of pushing that narrative a little bit further that it could be welding from that. Um, they also hypothesized that there may be a battery hidden somewhere um, because all of these videos were, uh, were shot from extremely close up angles and it's very possible that there was something happening out of vision that we couldn't necessarily see. Um, also, there may be a battery hiding underneath uh, or connected behind the rock itself. So these were all theories that were floated around from the geologist that we spoke to. Um, overall, it's not possible uh, without uh, lab testing to decipher what these uh, stones actually are uh, and they may be conductors of electricity but it's impossible that they have any relation to vibranium or a power source because they cannot generate electricity by themselves. Vedika, fascinating as always. Thank you so much for that. Vedika Bahel there with Truth or Fake.